<laughs> what do I have to shoot? What are you hunting Where's for? Where's the cat? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Keep on rocking in the free world. Keep on rocking in the free world. You can't park here, <laughs> sir. <laughs> How's it going, it's going good. Hey, good to see you. Last time we saw you, you had a camper held together with duct tape. What year is her? Uh, 87. 87 Bigfoot. So you get the you get the fiberglass ones, and an 87 is better than a 2007. Yep. What well, what year was the other one you had? 2001. That was a 2001, and it was falling apart. That was a Fleetwood Angler. The specials, the X. Uh, Rentals. X rentals. Yeah, that's why I always tell people stay away from the X rentals. They're just sticks and tin and glue. <laughs> uh, last one, the last guy owned this. He owned it from from brand new. So cool. Right on, man. How many how many feet is it? Uh, it's eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. Twenty four on Missouri. Uh, twenty four feet. So you yeah, pay a little bit already, of overlay. Already over on, on my truck's already twenty one feet. So. Oh yeah, so that's a quad cab. Yeah, quad cab. Yeah. But they got eight eight foot two inch box. Yeah, so it's definitely longer than my motorhome. Yeah. But I tucked it in. I, I get a <laughs> tucked it in, yeah. I get away with um, regular car rate, except if I go Horseshoe Bay, because they have the automatic readers there. But to Watson Ferry, they still ask you at the booth, and I'm just like, got 20. They let me in. Yeah. <laughs> For now. <laughs> cool. So um, this is your part time home, right? Part time home, yeah. How many days a week? Uh, four to six, depending on how much I work. Four to six days a week. So yeah. those of you. Pro who remember him, I did the tour of his old camper a few months ago. He works here in Vancouver, and he lives over on Van or, or on, Sun on Sunshine Coast. So he has to take a ferry over here, and uh, in order to avoid the commute, he just bought this camper, or bought a camper to live in while he's over here in the city. So it's actually, this is more your full-time home, where your other house is your part-time home. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> more time than this. Definitely, eh? And you get away from the woman then. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so can we take a look? Yeah, go ahead. Cool. Go ahead. It's a little messy, but go ahead. Oh, that's what everyone says, but... Dude, some of the customers at my job, they're messy. And they're in houses. This is nice. So it's a queen up front top. Yep. Double down top. <laughs> One thing I like about the uh, truck campers is the ease to get up into the beds up top. Yeah, the well, classy motorhomes, I don't like this the beds up top. This one's way better because it has a double step, whereas the old one, you actually had to hop up, right? Yep. There's actually, if you didn't have your hat on, if you sit on the edge of the bed, there's actually also clearance for your head, too. I had one class C where I could sit up in my bed, but they're rare. Yeah. They're rare, yeah. But didn't have to. But climbing up every day on a ladder yeah. it was, it was a pain in the back. You got stairs. Yeah. Stairs are cool. Yeah. So, cool. It looks just like my sink full of beer cans. Yeah, yeah. Sink full of beer cans. Four burner oven. They, oh no, oven. They took it out and put it on a, a micro, microwave. Why? But they did upgrade the fridge, so it's. Uh, oh. <laughs> that's because they they put the camper. That's pretty rare for double. Door. Yeah, double door. Nice. Awesome. It's a, there's storage everywhere, like up in top. It's like all boat style up, up top there. And oh yeah. The pockets Along up the down top. And below and above. And nice, cozy. In so the winter. Got the big escape uh, hatch vent there. Yep. Climb up right. on the roof. My, I had one of my old one. I let the cat up there. The bathroom, then it's got AC when I want AC. So. Cool. Um, closet. It's got make drawers. It, this, this would make a woman happy. <laughs> yeah. No kidding, Abe. What a nice little uh, mod there, hey? So that's aftermarket, obviously. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very cool. And are they locked in, or is it just? Oh, no, no, just, it just locks just in. The door. Just, when you, just the door. Yeah, just the door when you. Door. Great idea. Yeah. That's actually better for a guy, I'd say too, because I don't have very much to hang up, and I have everything. Oh, I have um, uniform stuff. Right I have there, rubber made uh, storage totes inside my closet, right? <laughs> right on. Yeah. Bathroom. Bathroom. A nice wet bath. It's a big one. 
Yeah. Much bigger than the other one. I put a skylight in. Give me a little more headroom. Got solar yet or? It was. They took took it off. I've got. I only got one 90 watt panel, so I haven't put it back up there yet. But it's wired for. It. Yep. Perfect. Well, that'll be more than you need, man. Unless you're running, you know, big big equipment, yeah. just to charge your batteries for lights and stuff. And radio. Check be cool. Accular panel right there. Oh yeah! Look at that. That's high tech. Cool. High tech. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, does it, you know, it's actually Some working. Work. Some of them work, yeah. Some of them work is what it always is. Some of them, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a big upgrade, eh? Yeah, yeah well, it's, a, it's a considerable, a lot more room than the other one, right? So, yeah. Uh, it's wider, it's taller. Booth, dinette. Warmer, yeah. That's cozy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Chewbacca. Right on, man. So uh, what's your plan for this for the winter? Are you going to live in it all winter, too, yeah. here? Same thing. Yep. Same thing. You gonna get? Are you gonna just use the onboard furnace? I've got a small electrical one I'm plugged in too. Oh, because where where you work, you can plug in sometimes there, sometimes, right? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, but not always. Not yeah. Always, yeah. So not always it'll be uh, batteries. I see. I would. I was actually gonna go to not as fancy as yours. I was gonna go to one of the Cub uh, mini stoves, but I would have to take this out in order to put there because I have to have 40 inches of. Uh, of a pipe. So you're talking about the Cub uh, wood stove, right? The Cub mini wood yeah, stove. Yep, yep, I know the one. The yep. Cub and the Grizzly? Yep, they're only Grizzly, I know the tiny little ones. ones. They're, yeah, they're and the Cubic mini wood stoves too. Well, they're made by Cubic. It's the yeah. same company, I believe, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're just working on their final EPA, same thing as uh, Kimberly. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, that would have, fit in there, right? Take, I would have to take basically half this out so I could fit there because it's too tight here. Ah, uh, you could do that. You're again, you're a guy. Mm -hmm. You don't need the big closet, right? I, I wouldn't even hesitate to take out my closet to put in a wood stove. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> it's, there. It's, it's in the thought. Yeah, yeah, dude. That would be really nice in here. Yeah. Congratulations. Seen your pictures online, but I haven't been able to actually see it yet. So. Well, that's I, why I yep. stopped you today. So. Yeah, yeah. So I just, I just look out my window, and there he is parked <laughs> there. That's just convenient, hey. Well, there's a lot of people down here today in their motorhomes. Man, it's a typical Sunday down here at the beach. Cool. And I have a uh, van dweller on her way down here. Well, sorry, a future van dweller on her way down right now for a visit. She uh, was actually at CamperCon, and um, she is looking to get out of her apartment and into a van or a small RV very soon. So she's been picking my brain lately. So she's coming down for a visit, see what it's like living at the beach. Yeah. Well, Hang out with us bums. Yeah. That's like, right? Well, oh, I know. There you go. I mean, that's that's a hell of a backyard to have. <laughs> you know. And the Ford, the Ford truck is a what year? Yeah, it's a 2014. 14, that's right. See, it's F-250 Super Duty. F-250 Super Duty. That's a little different. You know, a lot of people have asked me, oh, how come you never see anybody with truck campers? You never interview anyone with truck campers. It's just, well, it's, there's no, just it's there you go. It's yeah, it's bigger. Like, something like this is bigger, but if it's, a, if it's not a quad cab, then you'd be within the length limits, right? But again, if you just move around, you don't squat, you don't really have to worry about it too much. Although I've, I've parked around here and I haven't had a problem. Yep. Yep. There's right. two guys up on 4th that are parked there constantly. As long as you don't look like, uh, what did those people say on the video, uh, Tyler and Sarah, as long as you're not, you know, puking hippie dust That's or right, something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Bigfoot Industries made right here in BC, Canada. Right.